right, welcome to Thursday. Grand Th Thursday Theft Auto. Used to be on Wednesdays, but I'm switching this to Thursdays because we moved the armor night to Wednesdays. And so on Thursday, I'm going to play Grand Theft Auto or some sort of driving game. And still the, the nights, I still call them random and chat in my official, in my official schedule on my website because in the evening, you know, I don't have as much energy as during the day in my, in my current, uh, in my current schedule show. So I like to leave it a bit open in the evening and see how I'm feeling. And that's why I call it random and chat because, you know, I'm playing some random game. I'm chatting. Although Thursdays, uh, will likely, uh, remain a Grand Theft Auto night. We'll see how that, how that goes. I'm feeling, playing so many different games these days, I feel sometimes when I jump from one game to another, the graphics look a little different and they throw me off a bit. Right now I'm seeing a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, do a few jumps here to warm up. Oh, alright. Okay, I didn't flip over, I'll take that. I'm feeling a little bit of the, these jaggies in GTA in the distance. I don't know if I have to turn on some another graphic setting it, that I forgot to turn on, or if it's just uh, something about the this game engine. And here there's one. A little jump, just go for some little jumps. Maybe my friend... Whoa. Maybe my friend uh, Mr. V will join in. <laughs> that was a great way to start. I failed this stump jump. I lost my vehicle, my my Karen Futo. I souped up Karen Futo, so we're already in deep waters here. In the beginning of this GTA stream, and it's funny. I have this. I looked up GTA Online for the first time on Twitch, like the category, and I was like, "What? What do you mean? Only 160 people watching this?" And then I tried GTA 5, and then it was like 93,000 people watching at the same time. Okay, so so GTA, GTA 5 is the category everyone uses for the because it's the latest GTA. Uh, let's do this business battle if you can find another car here. And the GTA Online category only has, you know, 160 people watching, not that many. And oh, no pause, Samantha, if you so. Alright, it's too bad my friend can't make it today, so I'm gonna be by myself. Uh, okay, we'll start by uh, we'll start by trying this business battle. And yeah, but today as an experiment, I I put the category here as this uh, here. Let's get this car. Excuse me, uh, man. <laughs> I need to borrow your vehicle, okay? And someone's already shooting at me. So I changed the category to GT Online, there's not as many people, friends of mine who do Twitch or have done Twitch and, and they, they recommend playing video games that don't have like, you know, 93,000 people watching them concurrently. If you want to find some people to, to join your stream because you get shoved down in the bottom below how many, uh, the gods know how many pages. What? Oh, because I stole the car, I guess they were angry at me. And and so I thought this would be a nice experiment. Let's put GT online and let's see if you know someone shows up. But you know I do this for fun as well, not just for the followers. But who am I kidding? I do want a hundred followers before the before at year's end. And I today I had a really nice stream earlier on. I got raided my second time ever. Like some raiders in Twitch, like someone else was watching another stream and decided to come see my stream of their viewers. I don't know how they found me, probably through, you know, because they're a space game geeks from Levine, Slovenia. And I'm a space game geek from, you know, Earth, but I couldn't live in the United States. And they came and they, and they followed, so I had a good day. I'm, at, I think, 76 now. And, oh, I think I had one that was that direction that would be better. Yeah, right here. There's already a player there. So let's just move to the next one. Okay, there's a player there, and he has one of those little flying um, prawn things, flying... Uh, that I that I really hate those motorcycles. So let's go for this one instead. Just doing a little bit of uh, fast driving here and trying to get to this business battle location as best I can. Don't do this type of driving in real life if you want to live longer than you know 18 or however old you are when you steal a car that you go joyriding doing this sort of thing in. Leave this sort of stuff for the video games. Uh, you know, 
And even if you want, you feel a little suicidal or something, I'll call like one of those hotlines, whatever the numbers are. I don't know one here by, by heart because I know I only feel suicidal in video games. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just like blabbering on and on right now tonight. And oh, that wasn't very good. But okay, we can, we'll keep going. <laughs> yeah, I, so the, I just tried. I was I was in a, flowing a little bit and I started and then uh, my hammer distracted me here and. That's okay. No, it's all right. Oh, and and they found the business battle thing already, and it's that way. All right. Well, let's let's go get it. Let's try to get it. I don't know. Some this guy has it. I don't know where he has to take it. So let's try to intercept him. I'm just doing a beeline for stuff and driving driving fast today. I'm not you know uh, doing any kind of uh, <laughs> any kind of as you can see any kind of plan other than making a bee line which you know like a bee it, it it flies so it doesn't have to go around things as much as we apes human beings do so saying let's make a bee line for something just means go fly straight to it okay or you can call it a crow line as the crow flies or a eagle line or a hummingbird line or a drone line whatever you you prefer that that has uh, you know can fly and direct uh, vector towards its objective and right now i'm making a you know a kukachu thrush flight i'm doing my best here but i i keep forgetting I, i'm not really paying attention to where i am so now I, this uh this reservoir appeared and i can't go across of the car because i'm not a bee or a kukachu or or a or a pale breasted thrush so i'm going to just uh have to go around this thing and and see if I can get there somehow. Which is you know for GTA Online, just GTA in general. My favorite thing about this game is driving. The cars they handle really well. So you know you have like your your drink here. You're in the United States, so it's plastic and there's a place in the car for it and all that. But uh, I, I enjoy being, spending time in these cars and and uh, because of the way they handle, because of the way that. Uh, Whoa, okay, that was quite a sequence of events there. Let's keep moving. Okay, oh, I'm getting close to him. Okay, cheese and burger. Um, he's in a, some sort of armor vehicle. I'm just going to have to do a complete uh, cross-country. Well, let's just stay on the highway a little bit. Let's try to be a little bit smarter about this. I'm going to try to get out of the sticky bombs. There's already a plane that's going after him, some green plane up there. It looks like just a regular Cessna, but based on the icon, it doesn't look like it's uh, anything with weapons on it, but maybe they try to kamikaze on him, or maybe it's just someone flying around, joyriding to try to scare him a little bit. But he is, uh, okay, he's crossing ahead now, so we're going to have to, oh, and he crashed, I think, so let's try to intercept him over here. Okay, let, right, right around here. Let's try to intercept him. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Look at all these plants. Here he is. Oh, so it's gonna shoot at me probably. Let's see. Oh! And I almost died. I think I jumped out by mistake. Actually, that mistake saved my life right there. But uh, let's try to get back in the car and uh, get go after this guy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him because I think he's close to to where he's supposed to go. But we'll f we'll see. Try to take some shots. Some uh, yeah, you know, I took this car. I imagine if I had taken this car for a test drive from some sort of. You know, place that sells cars, and I brought it back in this condition. That would be pretty funny. See the Ramon's face, Simeon's face, whatever that guy is called, in this video game. That you, in the beginning of the story mode of this game, as a politician, uh, he uh, okay, cheeseburger of the, the weapons. All right, fantastic. I'll give him a couple of beeps to you know, good, good run. And let's uh, yeah, let's 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 drive this car all the way back to town. Or perhaps, you know, let's take a plane and see how things go. So my friend Mr. V can't make it today, it's been a hard week. So I'm going to be flying, uh, driving solo here tonight. 
or flying solo. Here you go. This is where we're going. We're going to Mackenzie Field. Oh, and there's a Dahar TBM uh, 930, I think, whatever it is that plane, whatever that plane is in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator that flies sometimes. This looks like a similar one. Let's pick this stuff up. Let's drive, fly into town, try to land on top of a building and um, and do a few, tr and, you know, see what's going on down there. I don't really, oh, actually, you know what? I do have a plan that I wanted to do tonight. I was expecting my friend to join me, so I, I put that on the back burner because when I play with Mr. V, we do other our own activities. But I do have one, the Simeon missions, get gear up. The Simeon missions, uh, not Simeon, but the, what was that, a Solomon. It's like the Harvey Weinstein of Grand Theft Auto. You know, they added this later. They added it like in the past year. There's this missions of this Hollywood mogul who who, and let me just up tab real quick to check my sound levels. It's missions of this Hollywood mogul who, you know, it's it's not. There's a lot of controversies about him. He's probably not the, you know, the nicest person in the world. And and he, you have to go and find all the stuff that he's hidden. And I have I found all of them. And I think the last one is uh, in this little north western coastal town up here that we're going to try to get to right now. In this Dahar TBM 930 of, of Grand Theft Auto, I landed one of these in Mount Everest in Microsoft Flight Simulator, like a, a, just over a month ago, I think. It was quite. A, that was probably the most. Ooh. Okay. That was, and I'm not gonna do that now. Oh, and there's someone coming after me. Here you go. Jeez. What? Do, what do these guys have anything better to do with these? With these? I'm gonna jump out because he's gonna blow me up otherwise. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that's quite a way to go. <laughs> I'll give him a lull for that. Because, you know, they're getting bumped. You know, that was creative. Usually those guys just will, will hit you with a rocket. But um, I'm going to defend myself in case he's coming after me again here. But this guy at least, uh, you know... I'll take, him a, I'll take a few shots at him. This guy at least was creative and like took me out with the bump. Oh, almost got him that one. Creative. Good bump. All right. Um, and now I'm stuck all the way up here, but this means I get to go on a little bit of a sightseeing trip here in DTA. We don't, don't usually get to see the this place from like a walking perspective because there's so many oh there he comes again is he gonna come after me i think i almost got him in that last one but he's off okay one more all right hi there this so is Brian yeah from alan drone productions oh shut up so uh yeah i'm uh you don't usually get to see this this landscape here from you know outside of an airplane or, or a vehicle. I'm, so I'm running up this mountain because that guy took me out while I was flying over, and uh, here I am running up. And you know I'm not really dressed for the occasion. I'm wearing a a bow tie and a, a tuxedo type or like a suit. Like look, I'm, looks like I'm going gambling in Las Vegas or going to be you know someone's best man in a wedding, you know some fancy wedding. But it's all right. You don't have to dress for it at every occasion in GTA. You have to appreciate these pretty pink clouds of the foreground here in a, in a warm yellow and orange tints because of the setting sun. You can be wearing whatever you like and it'll, it'll work out. And that's one of the nice things. You can see Los Angeles in the distance there. It's one of the wonderful things about this video game is you can just do whatever the heck you want. Be who you want, you know, wear the hell, what the hell you want. Go nuts or, or be peaceful. And it lets you basically do it you know let off some steam or or just stop and appreciate a pretty view so it's really a well-crafted world that they made here look at this rock this is a some sort of almost looks like a man-made boulder but it is looks like a rock okay this is the trail 
up to the big mountain. I'm going to get up there, see if there's a parachute, and then jump down on the other side. And we're going to try to... Oh, that someone else took out Cheeseburger. There you go. Someone else had to... Um... I forgot my train of thought. Okay. Let's keep moving. Yeah, that's me too, actually. He bumped me. He bumped me. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Okay, oh, I'm getting tired, man. I'm gonna have to go. Oh, okay, it's not that much further. I thought it would be much further because it's getting a little steeper here. And we get to see this lovely sunset. Can I turn off the chat? Let's do a quick look, okay? Chat is, is pretty annoying, okay. Um, notifications. Tool tips, message frequency. I don't know if I can, if I can turn off, can, can turn off. Uh, not voice chat, but uh, thankfully I can turn that one off. But display, can you turn off like the, the screen chat? Probably not, right? That is annoying. All right. I mean, I I don't mind having there, but I want to. I don't want to take away from you know the view here. And one of, I've actually written Rockstar about this. Like, please give me a keyboard controls for turning off that chat and, and the mini map to turn off completely, completely. Just so that I can have a complete clean heads up display here, a uh, completely uh, minimalist user interface. Because as the more you stream these games, the more I enjoy just a clear view with very little user interface, which makes it look more like you're in a movie controlling. You know, being a character in a movie and uh, without, you know, other stuff. Although, you know, there's games that the interface is the game, is part of the game. Lots of statistics and, and uh, radicals and targeting systems and fuel supply and, and distance and the height and everything. And that's interesting too, but I like to have an option to turn it all off if I want. All right, we made it. Bees. Bell's End Danger. All right. I think here there may be, see there's a little flag, the danger flag here, that's pretty cool. It's like, careful because if you keep going, you're going to collapse into a tumbling, a, a set of tumbles that won't end until, you know, you're dead. Look at this, it's pretty steep. Yeah. If you're scared of heights, uh, this is a place to avoid in GTA. There are less Los Santos in the distance. All right. Let's climb up and let's see if we find a parachute. I don't think I got a parachute yet. I do have a flashlight. I think. Yeah, I have a flashlight so I can you know, see in the dark here. It's one of those giant mag lights that, you know, police used to beat people up in some movies at least. And, uh, all right, there's some people there. Where the heck? I know there must be a, um, there's another tourist. How the heck, where the heck is the, the parachute? I'm pretty sure there's a parachute up here somewhere. It's probably here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I hear something. I think it's one of those things that I need to destroy, one of these transmitters. Yeah, I hear one. Oh, there it is. All right. See, a lot, a lot of these rock, these games, they you have to pay attention to the sound as well. They give you clues. So right now I have this. Uh, let's take it out with this. I have a, an old musket. This is one of these sort of collectible things in games that they, these things that you can, a, a box that you check, okay, that you check. So let's check this one here. And it's like, I don't know if it's 50 of them or something. Okay, let's get maybe a, this one here. All right, signal jammer destroyed. Three of 50, do you have 50, like 47 more. There's the parachute, just found it. All right, got the parachute. Now let's uh, do a little bit more of a, something that for people who are scared of heights, you know, it might be a little iffy. And let's go. 
Okay. I don't really have to worry about the cables in GTA because they don't... I think it's some sort of engine limitation. They, 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 the cables, they don't have collision. Um, they don't model collision in those. So if you run through an electricity cable in this game, you'll be fine. You just come out the other side. And then a little parachute in the moonlight. We proceed down to... What was it called? I forget the name of this place, but... It's sort of a Northwest Pacific type town in America. I guess it, yeah, currently it's just in America. And this is where supposedly one a vehicle containing one of Solomon's stolen items is located. It can be like in a car park in a supermarket parking lot or driving on the highway or driving on one of the streets and I've, I haven't been able to find it yet. Generally you keep an eye on the mini map on the bottom left you'll see like a blue icon if you if it spots something of interest. But I have not been able to find this one yet. Let's hang out here for a bit and uh, see if we can find something. Oh! Whoa, okay, that was quite a little landing there. Right in the ledge. Was it at this supermarket alley that it could be? Lovely animations in the game. I don't think it was here, so let's... Uh... Spawn RCs. Is there a hacker out there? Hey. One way to detect hackers if, like, you... You know, if these guys... It's like the frame rate starts getting bad when hackers are in this... It does feel a little weird frame rate right here. That wasn't very nice of me. But I'm, you know, I'm looking for this thing. Look at this manga cartoons over here. I keep the Pixtro Degatron. Whoa, what's that? Wizards pay play Wizards Ruin here. There's some monkey and there's some sort of weird like sexualized uh, manga drawing. Book your party at Pixel Pete's. Kick back with the latest games. This is a pretty weird place. I don't know if this is one of the places that you can buy for that arcade. I haven't done yet the, the setup for that heist. And I don't really need a garage, so... Let's steal this car here and drive around, see what we can find. Bobcat. This vehicle has been in the series since the very first Grand Theft Auto from like 97, was it? 97 or 98? The Bobcat. It's like, a, you know, a vehicle with a... Flat bad in the back. I don't know what these people are thinking. Like the guy just stole a car, you know, broke the. Yeah, I'd be, yeah, I'd be. A... Oh, and it's not the fastest car. It's it's it very. The maneuverability is not good at all. But it is a classic of Grand Theft Auto Online. Grand Theft Auto, or just online. So it's nice to see it once in a while. I don't see it that often. It's been the while since I've driven a Bobcat. Should we soup it up? I have plenty of money, like uh, I have this... You know, I have quite a bit of criticism and completely justified of Bezos' company. I think that they will eventually succeed in unionizing the people there. I don't think the company's gonna be able to stop them for much longer. That'd be a very good day for workers. But in the meantime, you know, I, yeah, I have to admit I do... Uh, I do, I am playing on Twitch here, you know, and you know who owns Twitch is Bezos now because of Amazon and bought it a while back. All right, Bobcat, been, that's for sure. armor, let's just go, let's just do it with this car, let's put everything in, brakes, I'll put some race brakes, engine, let's put EMS level 4, explosives, don't have to worry about that, horn, I'm gonna leave normal, lights, uh, we'll put some neon kits. Let's put some neon stuff. Uh, let's put everywhere. 
neon color let's put like a mint green mint green or pony pink maybe maybe mint green that works okay neon layout everywhere all right yep i want this i want full coverage plate uh we'll just uh put uh this one here yellow and black works respray primary color let's also do something uh a little bit uh like a mint greenish thing maybe right. not the most exciting car in the world but uh maybe there is no mint green for this saxon mariner blue i, th I like the color because i picked it for another car too all right, not the most exciting thing. Let's uh, here gasoline green. Oh, I have to twenty five more slip streams to unlock that. Okay, I'm just gonna put a uh, midnight purple. All right, secondary color. I'll put a matte midnight purple really weird looking car i'm making and that's it i don't have anything else i can do with this car oh here's suspension transmission turbo let's put it in there, spending a lot of money here i'm just gonna leave the regular wheels i'm not gonna i'll, I'll, put, I'll put the i'll put bulletproof tires okay i guess i i guess i should i should put some car stuff some wheel let's put a let's put off-road chrome a bit too expensive chrome let's put stock rooms i don't want to spend all that money that mountain man works and now i can put a wheel color as well let's put a Salmon pink and tire uh, smoke. I'll also put a uh, green. Okay. Custom tires, all terrain, radio. <laughs> Jeez. Windows, just a light smoke. No, actually, I don't like any smokes. Let's leave it clear. And here we go. So we got a bobcat <laughs> that is souped up it has turbo let's keep driving around a bit longer see if we spot the solomon's things sounds pretty cool i like the sound of the of the souped up bobcat maybe this will start a project where i take all the classic gta cars that were in it from the beginning and buy them and modify them and make a warehouse to display them that could be a nice project Cheeseburger's drying quite a bit now, the guy that killed me. Let's head to town and see if we find this guy. I'm, I'm texting and driving, don't do this in real life, okay? Uh, I'm texting and driving still. I wasn't even thinking about I, I'm surprised it didn't crash to anything. Oh! It's a really heavy car. You really feel it when you crash with this car. It's like a, it's like such a heavy car. And I'm, and I'm gonna drive from first person view of a bit because there is this achievement on Steam that if you drive for 15 hours in GTA from first person, I don't know if it's GTA Online and GTA or both. But you get uh, you get an achievement unlock. Although it's not as interesting, I think, for people watching. So let's stick outside of you. Okay, kill list available. Enter the Merryweather vehicle. I'm just gonna keep driving to town. I think maybe I'll take out that guy uh, that killed me once. Though, what's his name? Uh, cheeseburger. Pretty cool vehicle. 
Even though it's not the top speed, you know. Let's try to steal a, let's try to abandon this vehicle and steal an F-16. A griefer with one of those cheeseburger menu things. Here we go. Oh, he made it, okay. Alright, let's go. Where the hell are the... Shit. Never mind, let's just go. Can I get out of here now? <laughs> I was gonna steal a jet, but it looked a little too risky, so I'm gonna try to get out of here. Oh, might be able to sneak through here. Yeah. Nice. I had never gone through there before. Oh no. Oh, go, go, go through, go through, go through. Yes. Barely, but that was quite a close call. Okay, that's what, 30? It's a bit of a highlight. I just remember 30 minutes. And they have like half the army after me now, just police choppers. I think this uh, neon light adds to the stream because when you drive at night, you can actually see it, you know? Trying to hit the pilot. Try to put on some armor while I'm driving. Don't have any. Alright, here we go. Stop here. <laughs> Kill for a living. Did it. Now the choppers are gone. I have a little bit of space between me, the choppers, and the cars. Let's see if I can get away from this uh, from this four-star police presence here that's after me. Okay, more, more choppers are coming. It's blinking. If I can get away from this chopper, maybe I'll be able to do it. Oh, but there's police waiting for me down here. Oh, no. And this car is not the most agile one. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, this is a bet. I should have gone off. Shit, come on, come on, stop blinking. Oh, god damn it. All that for nothing of those other choppers. Oh! Just missed. <laughs> All right, well, let's just stay on the road and try to get through this. Getting a win of classic GTA Online, which has a Grand Theft Auto car, a Bobcat, a souped up car cat. I have SWAT teams, I have the state police, I have choppers, I have a whole force of, of officers of the law in per hot pursuit here. Let me try to get out of the road and see if uh, it's 
try to jump over this little ravine here, see if I can make it. Yeah, I just made it. Okay, and let's keep going. I am eventually going to have to get rid of these choppers somehow. Although, it's difficult to drive and shoot at the same time. Mr. V is not here. He'd be shooting out the window if he was. Oh. I have to find a tunnel. I don't know of a tunnel nearby here, though. Take a red out of ammo on the other gun because I switched to this one. And the sun is rising and we are continuing this hot pursuit here. Oh! Ah. She's in a bobcat, one of the original Grand Theft Auto cars that was present in the 1996, 97 or 1998 original version of Grand Theft Auto, the bobcat souped up version of which I'm driving was present in that game and I'm doing a little bit of a police chase with one here, it has like lights underneath, you can see a little better in the dark but now the sun's coming up, we're gonna try to maybe make it into this airfield here, we might be able to get a car but I'm quite enjoying trying to do this with the Bobcat. Maybe I can find a, a tunnel that I can get in and, and, and you know, escape these people. I've got three viewers here watching me just with this crazy thing. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate it. Usually this is GTA 5, but tonight I decided to put, you know, GTA Online. Let's use this little tag here that, you know, lets people watch. And let's see if we can get a few more people here to witness this sort of movie type situation that Grand Theft Auto is very good at uh, doing. I'm not going to take the vehicles, I'm going to try to get away in this car and I, and I want to get it into a tunnel or something. Oh, Sunday driver, I don't know what day it is in the game, it's Thursday in New York City. Very sad day today, one of these things that was like a, a huge satellite dish that we used to c contact you know, look for ex extraterrestrial life intelligence and measure the distance to stars and do all this wonderful ex astronomical experimental work. The observatory, the radio telescope observatory Arecibo collapsed today because of years of, you know, neglect and lack of funding and it's a really sad day for radio astronomers. Carl Sagan would have been pretty pissed and it's, it, it looks like one of those, it's basically a giant radar dish but uh, I love those jumps seen from the inside view. It really looks like Hollywood movie, you know, bullets or something. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. Thank the gods I put in bulletproof tires in this thing, otherwise it would have been over quite a quite a time quite a ways ago. And I put in a souped in gen engine as well. Oh come on! Come on! Yeah! One, two, boss! Yes, okay. More movie type scenarios here. <laughs> right, lost the cops. Okay, hostile takeover. Should I try to do a mission while I have like four, five star police? Presence behind me. Just meant to miss those two vehicles over there. Here we go. I have an idea. Over here is the train line. If I follow this train line, I should eventually come to a tunnel and eventually be able to evade this five star wanted level here. GTA Online. Helicopters seem to have lost interest. Actually, I don't know what happened to them. Maybe when I went under that viaduct or another tree. Or maybe they were busy of other players. Oh, let's try to miss these. I think they, I think they, oh, they saw me. One, two, boss. Okay. And one, two, oh, no, okay. I can try to put that on, on, the, on the chat here. I can try to put a one, two, boss. All right. That's a one, two, boss. It's a Hypertech Zero one, two, boss. It's my emoji. I have a second law for emoji, but I haven't drawn it yet. I'm still thinking about what to do. It's going to be an, a facial, it's going to be an expression, I think, not photographic, but an illustration. Although right now, most of illustration time is going to be taken up by freelance job. First freelance job, and unemployed since March. You know, that's why I'm trying this stuff here, but I am going to keep streaming for, you know, if you're regular, this is my broken 
uh, music player here one of my brosic mu music player settings but I will keep streaming for at least a year to see where this goes so I don't play any single player games anymore because they're all multiplayer because um, you are here with me thanks for being here I very much appreciate it here we go a tunnel yes and this this little prayer to the gods and to the tunnel and also to my viewers here goes out with much love to New York City a very cold New York City in the last few days but uh, still on its still, still on its feet lots of people moving out pretty much yeah, almost every day we see like a move a, a moving truck of people leaving I assume they're leaving the city I don't know if they're just moving to a different area okay Maybe I should stop and go and wait here because I'm still it's still blinking the stars, okay? Let's wait in here. You can hear the car. I have a can of a, a, a closed can of coke. I wish I could pick it up, you know, and crack it open. So if I back up while I'm using the C key, which is like the look behind key, then I get really confused. I really have to back up by just looking behind the car, then I'm, then I'm okay, I can more or less. Yes, all right, five star wanted level avoided. There's some sort of suitcase out there that some player has. I don't know, I think that's like a, yeah, the hold the suitcase for the longest time, free mode, free lobby event. But I'm very happy to have avoided um, the police that was a nice little achievement for this session and now let's see if uh, we can find this uh, hamburger cheeseburger guy because he, he, he you know he killed he killed me in a funny way so I'm not I'm not really pissed but it would be nice to uh, it would be nice to no, no I don't want to be the oh, it would be nice to you know get a little bit of revenge it's always fun in this game to if someone's well, if someone's griefing is not even that fun because they don't care to just get rage. But if someone, you know, is, is playing well, you have three cars of the same type. Oops. Someone is playing well and, um, or they, they have a good, they, they do something funny, have a good kill. It's nice to start a little bit of a ri rivalry. Okay, I don't know. I don't see him blinking. So maybe he is the guy of the suitcase. He's probably flying one of those flying prawns, the vehicle that I really despise in this video game, you know. Let's go see where he is. Okay, let's 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 slow down and take a oh. Okay. That is up there somewhere. Maybe we should do a CEO mission to end the night. Well I have like 15 minutes left. Let's go see this player over here. My favorite missions in this game are the lobby ones. I don't, you know, the ones that, the ones that take you away from the player, lobby of players, they kind of are like a bit of a break in the action, which I don't enjoy as much as stuff that you can do, like these business battles you can do inside the game. This car is looking pretty derelict now. Look at that, pretty Cena, better days. Still looks cool with those pink or salmon pink uh, hubcaps and the mint green neon on the bottom. Here, here's, here comes a jump, jump in three, two, one. Jump. Can we make it to the top? Oh, I just made it. One, two, boss. All right. Can do a bit of a movie drive around here to get it to get down. I could just do another jump, but I want to do a, a quick like Hollywood movie type, driving like crazy in the car park. The wrong way around. Very confusing car park. You have to like get inside the. You have to go inside and then you turn left. And then you go, okay, maybe I should just follow the, instead of going the wrong way, if I follow the exit signs with the arrows, that'll help. Okay, let's go, let's try going the wrong way. 
A confusing thing. I can't believe it designed the stuff like Los, An Los, Los Angeles, you know. Los Santos is, is a city designed for cars. It's not designed for people, it's designed for people driving cars. And that always like flabbergasts me. It's, you know, the force of of societies that uh there's someone here that I want to say hi to that uh you know put uh profit and competition above all I guess competition is part of life okay here's the swift fin let's let's see what he's driving he's driving a police car oh Okay, that's another one. One was at 30, this one was at 45, you know, 15 minutes later, another little highlight. That was pretty cool. Knocked off, knocked over a police helicopter by just giving a light bump to him. Is some guy taking off on a Cessna 172. I usually fly these on uh, Wednesdays on Microsoft Flight Simulator. And um, it's nice to see these same vehicles in many different video games. I'm just cruising around in my Bobcat here. I'm having fun with this Bobcat. It's like a heavy, so it's like a really heavy car. It's, it's, it has weight to it. And it's, even it's all, though it's all souped up, you know, this. But let's try, let's, I wonder if I can take this to Benny's Motorworks and have him do even more to it. Let's go try that out. And there'll be another jump coming up in about uh, 10 seconds. Okay, nine, eight, seven. Six, approximately five, four, three. Oh, and I missed it. Okay, a little bit of a sloppy driving there. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. This one of I, I love another thing I love about the open lobbies of the game, just the game world, is to find little shortcuts that you know that are not commonly. I don't know how common this one is, but I, I like this one a lot. Find these little shortcuts that you can jump from one road to another without having that car that costs four million or whatever it's called, the, the Knight Rider car. Okay, here comes a little jump. Hopefully the car won't cut me off and cause me trouble. It's a bit of a shortcut to right. To get on the expressway in an ex express manner. It's like today in Elite Dangerous in the earlier stream I was I had a making a Viper Express, a, a little spaceship that is very fast. Bras, yeah, <laughs> all the women going after the high heels that probably cost a fortune and you have to go to Via della Scrofa in Rome to buy. All right, here we go. We have big goods, big G, the general store merchants. Get out of the road. Oh, <laughs> sorry about your yard. <laughs> okay, geez, I paid what a thousand seven hundred one hundred seventy five daily property utility charge. It's a good thing I'm a millionaire in this game. This is some expensive uh, $300 for the day for my assistant. Okay, where are we going? We're going to Benny's. Los Santos Customs. I think that's what that's called. No, Benny's is the thing online. I think Los Santos Customs is this guy. Here, this is another little secret way. You can just go right through here. And you follow this sort of white line here that indicates uh, some sort of... Uh, you know, water. Like in LA, they covered the whole river. The river's covered. That's that's the thing you see in the Terminator 2 film, the chase. That's a river, but it's like concrete. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a crime against the landscape. Okay, yeah, Los Angeles. Okay, here you go, Benny's Motor Works. And I'm sorry from from LA. You know, it's not nothing against the city, but it's okay. It cannot be modified. All right, Vid visit Benny's Motor Works to see what can be modified. I'm gonna keep driving this until someone blows me up. Okay, I have highlights at 30 and 45. I'm gonna make those later. Let's try to find some other little shortcut of those here. Here's one here. It's not really a shortcut, but it's a little nice little thing that you don't see people driving around very often. There's another one that's a little bit further up. I think it's the next one over. I think it's this one. Quick way to get to expressway too. See this little bump here? Okay, here you go. Oh, and I just missed it. But if you get that, that's the way to do it. But you can get through down here if you miss it too. 
full of the stuff and it's exciting that this update to gta they're going to be able to go on to an island i think december 15th it's really exciting to go to a new place you know that's not connected to this map i wonder how the hell they're going to handle it if they're going to handle it um that you have to like complete a mission to get there or if it's a place you can just fly to i suspect the the former all right jump coming up here we go let's see from this side this angle here oh this one actually it takes control of the camera okay this one's not gonna be a great jump right there you go <laughs> Shoot at their tires a bit and get, get people a little bit nervous. It's funny, no players have, have hassled me other than that guy he wasn't even he wasn't a griefer, he just like you know killed me once. And I had I had chased him down because he was doing a mission that he had a car that, that if he destroyed he got points. But here's another little secret little area. Well it's not really a secret, but it's a little jump that many, most people don't do. Okay, here's another player. Sports car. It's not the one I was looking for. The police is after him. And another. Oh my. Oh look. It's a, it's a Formula One car. I haven't seen one of these before. Let's try to race him. Not gonna hit him. It's a cool car. <laughs> Let's race this guy. He's coming. <laughs> right, let's, take, let's take him on a little, a little drive around town, okay? I'm just gonna take him through like little shortcuts and stuff. I'm sorry. Oh. <gasps> oh, he got through. <laughs> Emerson Fittipaldi atrás da gente. Opa. Okay, let's do it. Coming after me still. <laughs> Miguel Car ninety nine, here we go. I'm not gonna shoot him. Oh, let's see how fast he can go. Sake. <laughs> He's like a horse, this guy. Look at this guy. I know where we're gonna go. We're gonna take him to the jumping area. Here, this this street, one of my favorite in the game. Okay. Look 
goodness sake. Don't know how to add people. Swift FTYMN. Easy to remember name. Just throw some bunch of tear gas to confuse people. Alright. <laughs> That's really random stuff I'm doing here. And I'm running out of things to say, you know. Four minutes left, we're gonna go and spin the wheel. You can hear all the hundreds of thousands of lines of dialogue they've recorded for this game, and including like, shouts and screams and, you know, like, oh my god. Which is, you know, the kind of things people would probably say if they were seeing someone drive, like, these um, renegades in the city. I want to see if I can... Uh... I'm gonna tell them, cool, awesome. Hey, what the hell? What's this guy doing? Oh yeah, he's an old guy. I feel bad like... Uh... But he, he, he was complaining of me and you know, and he was probably an asshole when he was younger, so it's okay. Excuse me, it's you know it's a late night thing. I should have called him an alpha, but uh, that's also not a great um, um, an a hole. Okay. Oh, and this is this guy won this car. Okay, maybe I can want this car. Win this car too. Let's try it. A great the horse. Uh, Miguel Cacker ninety nine is following me around. He he enjoys. Uh, he enjoys my little rampage through the city here, it seems. Let's try again. Okay, E to speed the wheel. Couldn't do it, let's try one more time. Alright, continue. And here we go. For the same thing that Miguel Cacker 99 um, was driving. Oh, is it coming? Is it coming? Okay, come on! Oh, and just some clothing, for goodness sake. Alright, you want a clothing item, fantastic. Alright. Like, look, look, look at this guy's shorts. I mean, look at the way this guy's dressed. He's wearing, like, a horse mask. There's a bunch of tattoos. He has, like, some sort of played uh, shorts. Some weird shirt and, and like, Bright blue flip flops. Fantastic. Alright, I guess I made a new friend here in, in the game. Let's not pussy foot her. Oh shut up. Okay. Let's go. Another little shortcut? And amazingly, I didn't get caught by the police or destroyed in this bobcat. 
All right. Oh, maybe should we finish up a business battle? Let's try to finish the business battle. All right. Just one more thing. It's a very classic, good video game uh, thing. You know, you just have to want to do one more thing before you stop playing. I mean, I've played this game a lot. You know, I'm. I get a little bit of tired of it these days, but it's still fun. If I haven't played it for a while, it's fun to come back here and. Just drive around like I've been doing today. Don't pay too much attention to the missions, except for the lobby missions, which I enjoy more. This is one of them right now that we're heading to this business battle. I don't know if it's going to be one that you steal. They've put some new ones recently, but I haven't tried all of them. Um, and it looks to be one of those horrible prawn, flying prawn things coming. I feel these vehicles really ruin the game a bit, the online game. It's so easy to grief people with them, and just stay high up somewhere and fire missiles or abandon. But this thing, actually, you know what this is? This is an aircraft carrier. Let's get off before this guy shoots me. Here he comes. He didn't shoot me, that's a miracle. Alright, let's stay in my car then. I'm not going to be able to get this because it's the aircraft carrier one. So I'm gonna carry, I'm gonna call this a str oh three viewers okay I'll keep going until you know Let, let's get the police excited let's do a finish of a police chase you know it's Grand Theft Auto after oh look there, there's boats here I'll try a boat let's go get a boat I'm gonna have to abandon or or just park my bobcat down here temporarily. This is the aircraft carrier one, this business battle, alright. Nice lighting there, the green was going well with that uh, pinkish-orange sunset. We've played a whole in-game GTA day. I'm gonna press F to get in this thing and let's go see if we can get to this aircraft carrier. Alright, I think it's the aircraft carrier one. Yeah, it's in the distance there, you can barely see it. I usually I'd be flying there, but I got caught with my bobcat. I didn't know this was the mission, so we're just gonna have to brave the waves here. It's like, what's that guy? Tom Hanks in Outcast, except he didn't build a, a a rubber boat with with cat was it Castaway? Oh. Not Outcast. Okay, Castaway. <laughs> Let's have my editor here as so, a you know bit of a correction. No, no, it's good. I, I appreciate it. It's nice to have some company in the stream. And uh, yeah, so he built. He was stuck in this island. I like that movie a lot for some reason. And, and he, in the end, he had to make a choice. Either I'm gonna die here alone with my, you know, go, my volleyball ball, my Wilson volleyball ball. That went so crazy, started talking to his volleyball. Or I'm going to figure something out, build something that can pass these these breakers here. And look at that beautiful imagery. I wish I could turn off his god forsaken, god's forsaken chat here. It's like taking away from this, but okay. And, and he builds this dinghy and he managed to get across and yeah, it's an inspiring story I find that, uh, you know, on the surface it's just about him getting away from the island but it's also about, I feel, you know, overcoming hardships and, you know, a little bit almost too melodramatic but the, the detail in the movie that I really takes it over the top for me is that the whole film pretty much, there's no music and then when he succeeds getting past the breakers on the little dinky, then there's this orchestral score that slowly descends and that is a very emotional moment. It's like an incredible use of music in a film. So here we are. Okay, we have to infiltrate this aircraft carrier. There's lots of men with gun in, guns in there and uh, get... and get, uh, I think, a suitcase and, and take it to base. All right, every time I've gotten this, in this and I try to take off of an airplane, I get shot down by a missile system. So I think you have to disable missiles if you want to go out of the airplane. Probably if I go out of the boat, I'll be okay. 
But maybe you can only go out of the airplane. I don't know if uh, if the boat. Um, I don't have any body armor. I, I need to buy someone. I forgot. I have P and Qs for my health. But I don't know if my boat will be here if I don't. If I, for me to leave with the boat instead of an airplane. Is, it, is this even doing something with my health? Okay, here you go. Ego chasers. Those are better candies for for your health. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, Let's see. Got a first person view here. Anybody around? Maybe they already got killed by the other guy? Oh, this one. Okay, they're there. Let's try the silence rifle. Whoa, very loud siren. You do not mess with me. You do not mess with me, okay. Get that they got Spencer. They got Spencer. Can I shoot those things so they didn't blow up? Negative. Tricky. Taking cover. All right, who else? Let's go. This side, perhaps? Negative. All right. See, this isn't generally not my favorite part of this game, but it, but it is a good action sequence. These are good action sequences, I have to admit. They're, they are qu they are quite fun. But I prefer the driving in this game. The driving is my favorite uh, part of the video game. Alright, just trying to keep it uh, under control here because I don't have any armor. It so limits the amount of risks I can take. I mean, you know, it's risky to go around running with guns shooting. This siren is driving me a little crazy. Here, let's get this one. Alright, got one. Okay. Oh, this is already a capacity? What, what, do I have to sell them from the nightclub to be able to, to get more? Additional warehouse stores can be purchased. Oh, I have to get... Oh, my, my boat is here. Nice. Okay, let's get the boat. So I guess I can uh, purchase more warehouse storage. Okay, the looks like looks at air defenses can be disabled by hacking the laptops in the control tower. Okay, so hopefully I don't need to disable the air defenses because I'm going out of the boat. Let's see if that's if that's the case. Probably, probably going to be a, a helicopter after me, but that's all right. And try to shoot the pilot. Oh, I got him! <laughs> On two boss, no explosion because it's, you know, the water. Some RP for the road, alrighty. Oh, there is a light on this thing, that's why it's so bright here, let's see. There's a light inside, the oh no, it's just light in the back. Turn it off. I have 20 minutes, it's loads of times to give it delivered to the nightclub garage. And I'm gonna check out my nightclub and and see what is this about it being full and see if I, there's some stuff in there that I can sell. Beautiful evening in Los Santos. Let me drink some water. Oh, more choppers. Okay, 
They shut out the light, but I think the pilot's still there. I'm in trouble with this one. Oh! <laughs> I, I was arriving and I didn't even realize. Should I take out this chopper? Is my bobcat still gonna be there? It is! <laughs> yeah, swan to boss! Alright, quickly get out of this. My special gun for these situations. Oh, and right on my bobcat! No! Oh no, my bobcat! <laughs> well, what a way to go. One, two, grass for the bobcat. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go and find a different, um... Uh, not this. Can't do this. Let's ask, let's call my mechanic. While we're climbing this hill here, and let's see if we can deliver a car for me. Anything. It's probably not a way. Right can't. Okay. Wonderful. Alright, well... We're gonna have to procure a car. From the streets of the city. Let's see if we can make it. It's 18 minutes, plenty of time. No more ammo for our pistols, I should get that sorted out sooner rather than later. Alright, that works. Out of here. Almost miss it. The Los Santos Gas Company. I con Edison here, not that they will con you into paying more. Okay. Didn't play GTA 4 that much because the performance at the time for the PC I had was horrendous. I wonder if it would be fun to play now. Alright, you deliver goods. Doing well in GTA tonight. Let's go. Uh, let's go into basement level one, and let's figure out if there's something I need to do to to get this to like deliver things. I I've never really played this these um, nightclub missions. I don't really understand how these things work here. I know there's like a secret safe or something. Your bike garage. There was like a secret safe here somewhere. I don't remember where it is, but maybe it's from accessible from the laptop. All right, value two hundred and three thousand dollars in here. It's not too little. Register as VIP PC. Okay. Um, secure server. Register CEO. Now I can access the laptop. All right. Let's see. Warehouse management. Good sold. Should I upgrade? No, let, let's just install security guards. No, let's let's sell some goods. Let's sell um, cargo and shipments. The whole thing for hundred grand. Let's sell organic organic produce. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here a little longer. I'll probably get blown up by a player, but who cares? Good news. The buyer has thrown in a cash bonus. Bad news. You got to get the shipment to them looking pristine. No scrapes, no scratches, no head-on collisions. Drive like an old lady for a change. Should not be a problem. All right. So I don't... I have to, like, not... 
not touch anything, not, not crash, no scrapes, nothing, okay. Let's try it out. But there's still like time, you know, it's still time, so you do have to, you know, get a move on you. You can't just like totally drive like an old lady. Oh, there's one down there. Are you serious? How the hell do I get down there? Okay. <sighs> okay. This is gonna be less easy than it looks. I got ten thousand dollars bonus for not driving without a scrape. I bet that every time I, I scrape the car on something, that ten thousand bucks there on the right is gonna go down. This is one of the game uh, gameplay features they have in GTA Online. All right, here's one. Can I open this? Do I have to use another car to break into it? Is that is that the, is that what? All right. This is not going to be good because the police is going to want to get me. But it'll make it more exciting for you, the viewer. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look, it's a bobcat. It's a bobcat night. Alright, sorry, dude. Oh, he, always, he already forgot who I am. Maybe he did. Yeah, I think he did. He's probably just super, you know, stoned or something. Okay, here we go. Alright. Oh, it's behind me? Am I, am I scraping it? Oh no, I've, I scraped the car already. See, I'm already like... What the hell is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's stuck under the car. <laughs> you idiot. Now I'm gonna have to bump the car of the bobcat in order to move it. And the bobcat is gone, of course. So I'm gonna have to get another one and the police gonna get upset. That guy's still walking. Who took his bobcat? See, this is the kind of em emergent gameplay this is called that, that happens of this uh, of these games that simulate physics. You can just have a random stuff happen like this. Oh, and it didn't look like it was be below me anymore, but anyway. The car's already scraped, so I'm not gonna know. 520 bucks I lost there, it's not the end of the day of the world. That's like a, a, a... That covers the assistant charge in the CEO office. Alright, let's take a little shortcut for this one. Hitting reeds shouldn't be a problem. Oh look, it's uh, the place we traveled to in California, babe, with the oil rigs, right in the middle of the city. What was that? Ba Bakersfield? Bakersfield, California. Pretty it's an ugly place. Sorry from, if, you're, if you're from Bakersfield, uh, my one or two viewers there watching. Oh! Try to move out of there as soon as you can. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is to the to the to the, the shop. Oh, watch out! Almost an accident of that car speeding through there. I think he ran a red light. That guy. Oh, and there's a hacker in the session. He turned on snow, of course. Snow is coming in GTA. It comes once a year without hacking. It comes once a year with uh, the the uh, what's it called uh, in Christmas? I think for about. 10 days or two weeks during Christmas, there is it snows in Los Santos. A nice little touch from Rockstar. If you're a hacker, you can uh, you can make it snow when you want. And there's a hacker here. 
Some very polite hackers nice. Like I'm sorry, they don't mean to hit you, you know, they're they're not really chasing people down, so that's not so bad. Yeah, snowy skies. I wonder if it's gonna snow for Christmas here. I don't think so. It's maybe a huge like in the real world, it's maybe a huge storm is gonna come. A blizzard for the ages in New York City and Oh, and here we go. Hackers are starting to cause trouble. I heard something blowing up. They're probably gonna blow me up right when I'm about to deliver the last thing. We'll see what happens. That's the story with GTA Online. You're gonna have, uh, you know, hackers trying to ruin the gameplay for people. Just have to not care about it. You play the game when you play it. If you want to play without this, you have to go to a private session. It limits some of the activities you can do, but it's still fun. Alright. Oh! Okay, that cost me $2,000 right there, that crash. Smash the front of the... Was I running a red light or, or was he like turning without signaling? I don't know. Oh, and here's comes someone. Let's try to get away from him. Let's go this way. <laughs> he's gonna come after me, let's see. No, he's not coming after me. Okay, this is a delivery up to some... Uh, ooh. Oh, and I lost it just there. Okay, I didn't crash into anything, so I'm still at 7,380. Don't have a clue about modding. Swifty Min. Swifty Man, is that, is that what he's trying to go for? That discombobulated username. And we have parts of all, we have the Xcraft MC23. It's the most creative of them all. Okay. Nice little sliding turn to end this. And here we go. This is for some rich weed aficionado here. You know, from the Hollywood Hills. All good successfully sold to the buyer. How much money did they make? Like $10,000 or a little bit less because they're like 7000 something because they crashed the cars a few times. And I think that's going to be it. Okay. I'm going to leave you with this uh, hacker snow here. Oh, and now rain, okay. So, fantastic. Have a good evening. Thanks for being with me. Faithful watchers, uh, happy Friday in advance for tomorrow. And I'll be back tomorrow with from some IL-2 Stromovic World War II aircraft action. Maybe a bit of a lead during the day as well. And okay, right when the hacker, uh, right when the hacker is done, okay. Thanks so much, Swifty. Peace out.